This is what has happened to the American economy in literally the last three and a half months. Money stopped moving. And as a business owner and someone who's been in business 21 years, I need to inform you what happens when money stops moving. The unemployment, the business closures, this is what happens when money stops moving. This bill that I'm showing you was printed in 1985. This bill has circulated for 34 years. And that's the power of money moving. When money doesn't move, bad things happen. And this is one of the first time, this is the first time I've ever seen such massive amounts of money stop moving. And this is why the states are not gonna close down again. I don't care whether Trump has the power or the governors have the powers. They've seen the economic carnage that happens when money stop moving. Money has to move. If money isn't moving, it dies. I want you to think about that. Each dollar that doesn't circulate is dead. It is dying. And one of the things I want you guys to understand is you've got to create your own economy where you can get money to move. Money has to be moving. Money has to be coming to you. You have to spend money. This is what keeps our economic cycle going. The minute that money stops, I mean, chaos happens. Cataclysmic things happen. You've seen it. And the thing is, it didn't take that long. Money literally stopped moving for just a few weeks, a few months. And all of this bad stuff, we have massive unemployment, we're about to have an eviction crisis, we have millions of people in forbearance, and money just stopped moving for a few months. We're not talking about, if money stopped moving for a year, our economic system would be done. It's over, it's a wrap. Because one of the things you've got to understand is as we jump into the pool of making money, because the thing is, when you're a teenager, you don't really care about this stuff. Your parents are supporting you, your parents are paying all the bills, you really don't give a damn. But the minute you become an active adult in the money marketplace, it starts to ring true to you. Bills become critical. Paying bills, having money, making money. You become part of the economic game. And one of the things that you need to do as this pandemic has exposed is you need to elevate your game because there's a few people out here who are gonna take that money. There are a few people out here who have different ideals about money, but money has to consistently move because if money isn't moving, it's dead. And if it's dead, it's no good to anyone. And this is what Jerome Powell of the Fed was trying to indicate to Congress that the Fed only has the power to lend. We don't have the power to spend. We don't have the power to create taxation, which is what the congressional body does. And the drone, who's a smart cookie, was like, look, we need some more stimulus. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna have folks who are gonna start hijacking the economy. You're gonna have folks who are just like, who are gonna get sick and tired of being, living the way that they are, and they're going to take matters into their own hands. They're going to go grab a, grab a piece of iron and go make some moves and make some things happen. So you've got to be really, really careful of this. But let's talk about your economy and you having money move. One of the things you have to do, and this is a video that's going to drop on Savage Finance tomorrow, why you need multiple streams of income. So be sure to subscribe and check that out. It's gonna drop at 6 a.m. tomorrow. One of the things is you've, you gotta create your own economy. You've got to create a way for you to get money outside of your job. Because as this pandemic has exposed, we have 44 million Americans whose money 
stopped. I want you to think about that. Their money stopped. And many of these folks have not been able to get on unemployment yet, so their money has completely stopped. They don't have a safety net, and they're out here living and shivering in these cold economic streets. Because see, once you understand the game, why money has to move, this is what happened to Lehman Brothers in 2009. Money stopped moving. Everything just collapsed. Everything just fell. Money stops moving. It is really a bad thing because like this dollar, this hundred dollar bill I showed you, that's literally been moving for 34 years. It's been in the bank. It's been in someone's pocket. It's been in someone's cash register. It's been in someone's savings account. It's been in someone's stock portfolio. Money has to keep moving. This is called money velocity. The higher the velocity, the better the economy. And right now our velocity isn't so good. Right now we have a situation where money velocity, and you know, I'm gonna do a video that's on Savage Finance talking about the alternative universe of the stock market. But, and also once real economic data fil to, filtered to the stock market, it crashed. And once again, for those of you who wanna get in the stock market, you've got time don't don't be losing it don't be worrying like oh man i missed out the market moved up the greatest no 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 the market's going to drop two to three more times this year and you will be able to position yourself where you can get in and start getting some of these gains in 2021 because one of the reasons that the stock market is going to crash again is money stopped moving take disney Disney gets 60% of its income, and Disney is a dividend paying stock, which I think they suspended their dividend. I'm not sure, I haven't researched it before doing this video. But understand, 60% of their income has stopped. You know what, what think about what, what happened if 60% of your income just stopped coming in. There would be problems, there would be repercussions, there would be many things. You see, one of the things that, one of the reasons that I urge you, yes you, to start a business is so you can create money velocity. Because with your job, that's just one stream of income. If you don't have a business and multiple streams of income, you're vulnerable to money stop moving. In 1999, my money stopped moving. I had one job, and I got laid off from that job and then it all stopped. And I had a crazy situation where I had to figure out how to generate money velocity. Money velocity is very important because from that point in 1999, I was able to engineer money velocity and my money has not stopped moving since 1999. 1999 was the last time that my money completely stopped moving. This is how you get enter into generational poverty. This is how you have divorce. You know, when your money stops moving, you have a multitude of bad outcomes that's gonna happen. And one of the things is you gotta keep your money moving. You gotta keep staying in the economic markets because when money stops moving, You've seen what has happened to our economy. And you know, for all these V-shaped recovery people, see, th this is the situation. Money stopped moving, right? So for us to recover, money's gonna have to move to a multiple of 10 times what it was doing. So your money's gonna have to 10X to recapture and regain lost territory. And right now, money's not moving at 10X. Money is moving. I don't even know if money is moving. I don't even think money is moving at the money velocity that it was moving before this happened, which means each month that we have reduced money velocity, we get further and further behind. Look at your personal economy. What happens when you miss a month of bills? You get behind by three months, right? Well, the country is steadily getting behind and I'm really eager to see what the GDP is gonna be for the year 
in comparison to our new nationally enhanced debt because this is another issue. When our national debt is more than our GDP, we run into money velocity issues. Money starts to slow down and this is not a good thing. We want money as moving as fast as it can because if money isn't moving, money is dying. And if it's dying, it is of no use to anyone. And this is why the credit markets, you know, there are people right now who are still getting credit cards. There are people who are still buying houses. There are people who are still buying cars because these industries realize that if the money stops, they're dead. It's over. It's a wrap. And we're going to see more interruptions with money as we go on. Like I said, the market's gonna crash two, three more times this year. I'm sure of it. We're going to have a foreclosure crisis. We're going to have an eviction crisis. And all of these things slow money down. One of the reasons that the economy appeared to be so strong, and we're going to talk about why the economy wasn't strong, was because we had high money velocity. People who wanted a job, they can get two, three jobs. But the jobs were not really good jobs, you know, driving for Uber, Grubhub, Instacart. These were jobs, but they were jobs that had, they were not careers. And see, for us to have the strong economy that people would have led you to believe, people need careers. People need upward mobility. People need to get a job and be able to move up in that job and make more money and get advancement. And that's one of the things that the economy has missed for oh, about 100 million workers out of 160 million. They had no careers, they just had jobs. And, and once these jobs went away and once the money stopped, this is when all these bad things started to happen because money has got to move. Money's gotta keep moving. And in your personal economy, money has to move. You know, one of the things I practice is I have five streams of income. I have YouTube, I have Savage Finance, I have Hustlers Kung Fu, Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, Be School for Hustlers, and Disruptive Mail. And shortly, I'm gonna have a sixth stream of income because I gotta keep my money moving. I gotta keep it moving because if it ain't moving, bad, bad, bad things happen. So you've got to create your own economy and you've got to get money moving. Because if money's moving into your checking account, it's moving into your investment, it's moving into your retirement, this is a good thing. But when you have a lack of money movement, you die. It's just that simple, you die. So this is why money has to move and this is why it's really important. And like I said, the states are not gonna close again. I don't care what happens, it ain't gonna close again because we've already seen that movie got the t-shirt, ate the popcorn, and we're like, uh, we don't wanna see that movie again. We don't even wanna see a rerun of that movie again, because I'm here to tell you that when people realize what happens when money just stops, it's critical, it's crazy. And what you wanna do is to create your own economy and get money moving from customers' hands to your hands, to your bank account, to your investment funds, to your house. You, 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 wanna, you wanna create the circulation of money. You gotta have circulation of money in your life because if you're not practicing circulation of money, then you are just going to be one of the people who's gonna be regulated to the badlands because what's coming with the raise of automation, many jobs are going to be eliminated. So the how do you f create a position where your job can't be eliminated? You give yourself a job by starting a business, man. That's your only option. I know many people don't want to hear that because a lot of folks, there will be people who will always have jobs. We're going to have policemen, we're going to have firemen, we're going to have nurses, we're going to have doctors, we're going to have college professors. So there will be a segment of society that will always have a job. But if you, but notice I said these people, all the people I named have careers. As a nurse, you can be a nurse, you can move into specialized nursing, you become a nurse manager. These people have careers. As a police officer, you can be a cop, you can become a detective, you can become a sergeant, you can become a lieutenant. 
once again, as a fireman, you can become a fireman, you can become the chief, the fire chief, you can become the battalion chief. Once again, all of these jobs are careers. That's what's going to be left. Like regular jobs, you're going to be subject to, bye, we don't need you. So one of the things you got to do is practice the circulation of money, make your money move, make your money move just like that $100 bill that has been circulating for 34 years. That's what you want. You want your money to circulate. You want your money to move in and out of your checking account, in and out of your savings account, in and out of your investments. You want your money to be moving. You want your money to breathe. Because if it ain't breathing, it's gonna choke off and die. And like I said, bad, bad things happen. So how does one get money moving? Good question. First of all, you gotta start a business. And what I'm gonna be doing in how to make money from scratch. I'm gonna be, the next live webinar is gonna be next week, and it's gonna be how to retrain yourself. Because the way that you are right now, you've been indoctrinated and industrialized and institutionalized in the current system, which ain't working. It ain't working. This little experiment we had with the pandemic has exposed People who are not working, investments that are not working, the system is not working. Airbnb, all these people who went to Airbnb and got all these properties and got leverage to the hilt, this exposed them. All of these people who are making six figures, they've been exposed because they're like the boss is like, wait a minute, we got Johnny and Jill who make twenty-five thousand dollars a year, and they're producing more than Jim who makes one hundred and fifty. What? Jim got to go. So everybody's got exposed. And one of the things that you, you've got to look at and one of the things you've got to deploy is financial self-defense and you've got to start a business. I know there are many people, I don't want to start a business. I just want to work a job and go home. And you know, if that's what you want to do, hopefully that works out for you. Hopefully that works out for you because the way that it's going, that ain't going to be working out for a lot of people because a lot of people are going to be regulated to the badlands. The people who are practicing financial self-defense are going to be rich. The rich folks are going to live in the cities and the homeless people are going to live in the cities and everyone else is going to live out. They're not going to be able to live in the city. It's going to be too expensive to live in the cities. Yes, rents are going down, but rents will bounce back and we will be back where we was, you know, give it three, four years and then we're going to be doing it again. And and if you're not starting a business, if you're not creating your own economy, if you're not creating an instrument to circulate money from other people's wallets and credit cards into your life, it's going to be hard. It's going to be really, really hard because money got to move. Money got to move because we've seen what has happened once money stops moving. Bad, bad things happen. So you've got to create these financial instruments to get money circulating in your life. You want it circulating, you want it moving, you want it moving in, you want the dollars to accumulate. And another thing I'm gonna do on Savage Finance, for those of you who have your long-term uh, saving emergency fund, your short-term emergency fund and your family operating account, I'm gonna tell you where to put that money so you don't lose any money to inflation. Because see, once again, now let's talk about this. Once again, once you have set yourself up, and let's say you make $50,000 a year, right? And let's say your short-term, your long-term emergency fund has 25,000 in it, your short-term emergency fund has 5,000 in it, and your family operating account has 10K. You have more cash money than 90% of the country at that level. We're only talking about 25, five. We're talking about um, 40K, 35, 40K. You have more cash money than the average person and this gives you options of where you can put your money, where you can protect your money, where you can grow your money, where you can create a position where your money can circulate because once you get these funds funded, you can move them to a money market fund, you can move them to the market, to safe haven stocks. You know, you will have to manage this actively because you, you're gonna have to watch what happens to your money and where you're gonna put it. But give yourself 
the option to practice financial self-defense. Do not be out here dead man walking. Do not be like these 45 million people with no job, with no money velocity in their life. None. I mean, bad things are gonna happen. People are gonna get evicted. We're gonna have a massive foreclosure crisis because I know there are people who are like, well, they changed the law. Well, the language reads to me that this program does not start to July 1st, 2020, and it ain't July 1st, 2020. That's like two weeks away. So everyone who applied under the old forbearance rules and regulations, I guarantee you, just like 2009, when we had the loan modification programs where millions of people applied, only 4,000 got it. Similar things is gonna happen. So we're gonna have a massive foreclosure crisis. We're gonna have a massive eviction crisis and we're gonna have high unemployment for years. If you don't wanna be one of those pers people regulated to the badlands, you gotta start practicing financial self-defense, which is to start a business. You gotta start a business. I know you don't want to hear that. I know you want to hang out with sexy slim Susan and big booty Betty on the weekends and work eight hours and call it, you know. It. Like I said, I hope that works out for you. But for those of you who are willing to practice financial self-defense, go below. I'm going to have a live webinar next week. It's going to be, and there's plenty there for you to chew on and get yourself together. I'm going to have a live webinar talking about how to retrain yourself because you have been industrial and institutionalized in the old way and the old way don't work no more. So the links below, go ahead and get a piece of that action and you can watch the last webinar that's already there. And we're going to start training people how to participate in this new economy. And the way you're going to participate in the new economy, you're going to be a business owner. You know, if you got 10 million and you want to be an investor, cool. But you got $2,000, you ain't an investor. You just playing around. You're not an investor. You don't have enough money to make money. Start a business. Go ahead, go below, hit that link, and I will see you guys in the next video. And the next video should be right here. It's good for you. Watch it, watch it, watch it.